Hi guys, this is Uma from React to the K. And this is Sean, also from React to the K, but newer. Um, so he's actually like the second most hardcore Moo Moo on this channel. So that's why I have him reacting. Hey. Twit, tweet, twit. It kind of looks like a face crying. Can you picture that? Okay, yeah, yeah. I can, I had not thought of that. I, I assumed it was like when you were talking about social media, but you ran out of characters. Yeah, so I am, I am curious, I'm, I, I'm cautiously optimistic, because Mamamoo have not had a great 2018, and I'm not sure whether the new year is going to be them uh, getting out of that and moving back to Strong Mamamoo. Similar to me, he likes Mamamoo's comebacks before 2018 more than the 2018 stuff. Yeah, not counting that one version they did live of Windflower that was great, that was better than anything they released in 2018. Yeah! That was amazing! The Link in description! <laughs> uh, something else I'm curious about is that I have seen a couple of people on the internet posting comments. Like, I haven't looked at the video, but like, in, like on Instagram or Twitter, describing this as a bop. And when I listened to the previews, this didn't sound like it was going to be a bop. And I'd like to hear Mama move to a bop, but I, I'm wondering, like, do people on the internet not understand what the definition of bop is? Or did they really go out of their way to mislead us about what this song was going to sound like? Yeah, so as a person who follows a lot of Mamamoo blogs on Tumblr, I kind of know what the music video goes into, so I'm not going to say anything to ruin what he's seen so far. But I've also seen the teasers, and I thought, like, wow, she's going to be saying, like, you know, a lot of stuff in this, and that, uh, like, plastic, clear, see-through yeah, that fashion. Weird. That was some interesting, like, probably some commentary on... I don't know, something that I was like, yeah, girl, you go. So I have an idea that of like what colors the song will hit at because I've seen the gifs on Tumblr. But yeah, he, he's going in just based on the teasers. Yes. Twit! This is such a bop. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Ooh, flute, cool flute sound. Okay, that is the vocal line they had in the teaser. Okay, so they're starting with the, I have a feeling this is a chorus. Okay, that's how she's saying twice. Like, twice, twice, twice. Oh, that's cool how like the flute line kind of sounds like it's going twice, twice, twice. Oh, yeah. And we're back with short lawns. Like the colors in the background. Lots of octaves in the vocal line. Yeah, not much harmony going on. Other than like the percussion, like, synth hits. Okay, now that's a completely different pronunciation of that word. And so now it's two way, two way. Yeah. Yeah. So beforehand, we were trying to predict what this song would sound like, and we were guessing like Starry Night, and then I guessed it was gonna be crossed with like Egotistical. I, I mean egotastic. Egotistic. Egotistic. Sorry. <laughs> I fixed it up with a Luna song. <laughs> yeah, egoist. Um, egoist. Um, but like, it's kind of melding, I feel. Quit! Yeah, like there's a bit, a bit of that pre-chorus that does sound like really convinced, really Mamamoo, like very distinctly their style. Bro. Ooh. Oh, there are the hands from the preview picture. Ooh. I like this low brass synth that's... Yeah, 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 that's nice. That's a really good sound. Yeah, so it's not a reason. Wasn't this moment. part of the teaser too? Yeah, so it's the same vocal line that was in the oh. beginning. Yeah, I like that line. And it's yeah, yeah, like... Recent Mamamoo songs do. Is that it? No. Okay, we have a break. Okay. That's like the extreme contrast between that 
dark scene and like her like flirting with the camera. Oh yeah. I like how they introduced the lower brass like only halfway through, not at the beginning. So I guess twit means you're for like like the actual word twit, except she pronounces it like tu twit. Well twit sometimes and then twit, twit, twit sometimes. Twit. Which You a fool boy! Don't let go of us up! Okay. Ooh. Credits. Oh, she's listed as one of the composers. Yes, Hwasa. Didn't know she was starting to do that. I knew That's cool. Hwasa has done a little bit. Also listed as one of the choreographers. So what were your thoughts on that song? I feel, I feel like they may be moving back in the right direction. Like, I feel like it's getting a little bit more, more of Mamamoo energy. I was a little bit surprised by the style they went for. I wasn't surprised because what I think really blew up Hwasa's popularity was the egotistic era and her mama performances. So I had a feeling that this music was going to be very powerful and vocals in the kind of lower range, very spacious. I kind of expected some type of instrumentation like that low brass synth that was brought in. And um, I wouldn't have been surprised if they brought in the guitar because that's what has been in a lot of Mama Moves 28, actually every single one. Yeah, every single yeah. one of Mama Moo's 2018 comebacks. So I think this overall style fits Hwasa well, and her vocal timbre is my favorite of Mama Moo's, so I enjoy whenever, you know, she has a vocal line. I just, I would love to read everyone's theories on the music video because it does seem like with that one scene where it's like the guy is either dead or like inappropriately under her dress, um, like, it seems like it's commenting on maybe, like, I don't know, men being twits and maybe over-sexualizing her or something. Or she's saying the boy's a twit because he does everything for her and doesn't think of himself. Um, so she's saying the guy's a fool because he, like, does everything for her and thinks of her over him. And so she thinks he's a fool because he isn't thinking of himself, hopefully. Okay. I don't Just from reading those lines right there, that's what I got from it. But w with the song overall, I felt it was very spacious. It wasn't very melodic in the sense of like leaps and harmonies. It was hitting, it was like yeah. hard hitting. Yeah, and I felt like it did, it still, it, it did still feel like a Mama Moo song. Yeah, overall, um, this definitely, I, it's saying something lyrically, it's saying something with the video. Um, music, I don't have much to co um, comment on, but I feel like it supports what it's trying to say. Yeah, that's how I feel. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys! Bye! Bye.